the Zoltar microcomputer. This is a hoax that Steve Wozniak played on Ed Roberts, manufacturer of the MIT Zoltar 8800 microcomputer at the 1977 West Coast Computer Fair. This is a really neat piece that Adam sent me from Altair to Zoltar. Steve Wozniak was a practical joker and he wanted to do a spoof at the West Coast, first West Coast Computer Conference where they introduced the Apple II. And he called a, um, Adam Skulski up from Los Angeles to help him. And he'd met Adam a few years earlier when Adam was about 13 years old. And the two of them wrote this spoof about an imaginary computer and compared it to some of the ones in existence, including the Apple I. And they distributed this at the West Coast Computer Conference. And they had help from two folks. They had Chris Espinosa and Randy Wigginton helped uh, distribute this. And we'll take a look at the back side. You see, what they did was they did some comparisons of um, various microcomputers available at the time, including Apple One. And this is an original one of the 8,000 that they distributed and caused quite a stir. And they did not tell, they swore to secrecy, they didn't tell Jobs or anyone else for many years about this uh, being done by them. Actually, it was attributed to another gentleman. Um, uh, the spoof was, and that's what was wanted. Adam also sent me this story that was published about the Saltair spoof. And at the moment, I don't know just where it was published, but it was written by, signed by Steve Wozniak. So it must have been written quite a bit later after the introduction of the Apple, because they kept that a secret for many, many years. You can probably uh, slow the computer, the uh, screen down and read this. If you're interested in the design of the Apple I and the early beginnings of the Apple company, as sold by Steve Wozniak and also the Apple II, this is a must-read called iWoz. You can buy it on Amazon.com, I'm sure, published by Norton several years ago, and a very, very interesting read. I want to show you a couple of references in here to Adam Skulski. Not the greatest, but I think you can read this. He's talking about the spoof he's building with his Altair. Um, fake literature, and here he talks about where he's calling um, Adam Skulski to come help him with it, and the two of them write it and uh, print up about 8,000 of them. So he was able to come up with $400 to do the printing, and they made up the whole thing and distributed it at the uh, West Coast Computer Fair. There's a little bit more on this spoof that Steve did, Wozniak. I'm going to just go down here to the part where he talks about Chris Espinosa and Randy Wigington. And he said Adam lived in Los Angeles, and he came up to the fair, and the four of them passed out about the 8,000 uh, brochures. And I have one of the original ones of that spoof brochure. Pretty neat stuff. Steve was also a very kind and generous individual, selling or giving stock to many of the engineers and friends at Apple that was worth many millions of dollars after the company went public. This is Dee Wallace of LCF Group. Thanks for watching our video, letting us share a part of our day with you. Have a good one.